Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with yet again another video. In this video for this set, I'm going to be doing some pastel color outline nails with some bling down the middle. I wanted to keep the spring vibes going. So without further ado, y'all, let's get right into the video. The tips that I have on are Nail House's 3XL square tips but I did cut them down a little bit. So I wanted to go a little bit shorter this time. This may not be like short or shorter to y'all, but it's shorter to me than the length I normally do. Um, so yeah. Also, I am using their size 16 Kalinsky brush as well as their Pro Monomer. And anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their sites in the description below, as well as use my code Portia for savings on your orders. Also, I wanna give a shout out to everybody who always uses my code weekly i see some of y'all say it. i use them week it weekly um it doesn't allow me to see like who exactly uses my code but i see a bunch of y'all do use my code and i appreciate every single one of y'all who do use my code for y'all nail house orders i'm not going to be talking that much but getting into this application i am using me secrets cover pink acrylic powder and i will be using that for the base of all of these nails So this is kind of random, but not really because it's going to tie into what I'm going to say. But I don't know when spring starts for you all because I know y'all like a lot of y'all are in different countries as well. But here in the U.S. and Ohio, it's starting about 10 days. And I don't know, I guess we haven't been having like such bad weather lately. But here in Ohio, um, especially in the Cleveland area, the weather is super weird like it. It can be really nice one day. It can literally be like 70 degrees sun out one day and like 30 degrees cold snow in the next. Like, it's so crazy here. It doesn't make any sense at all. But um, I said all that to say, well, like right now we got snow. Like, it's snowing right now and it's like, hold on, let me check. <laughs> okay, it's 35 degrees currently today and it's snowing. Like, this is the first time we've got snow in a while. Um, it hasn't snowed much at all this winter. We probably had like one or two snowstorms and this is our first time getting snow in like a minute it, although it isn't sticking but anyway i said all that to say like i know we're like going into the spring i mean yeah spring season and doing spring nails but it don't quite feel like it like not for real i don't know i'm um i don't know does anyone else feel like that like it doesn't feel like spring quite or whatever um yeah, the weather's just been weird everywhere, though. Like, the weather's just been weird everywhere. And I'm, am I the only one who feel like time is going by, like, super fast? Like, it's literally March. Before you know it, it'll be April, it'll be summer, and back again will be, um, like, it'll be the New Year's and stuff. But let me not even get to it, because, like, I personally think that time's an illusion. And I have my own, like, theories and everything. But I just wanted to say that. Like, I <laughs> am I the only one who, does, who feel like it's not spring? That's it.
okay y'all this is how we're looking with the application complete and sorry that i didn't talk throughout that like um sometimes i don't feel like talking so much and i don't like to hear myself talk honestly uh, i know some people enjoy like quiet videos so anyway anyway this is how we're looking with the application complete now i'm going to go in or go ahead and move into shaping and filing the nails um you all already know the drill, but those of you who are new and may not know, I do have a full in-depth shaving tutorial already on my channel for y'all to check out if you are interested. Oh, and also that link is in the description below. So after filing the nails with my hand file, I'm going to go in with my e-file and I'm going to be using this 5-in-1 Carvac drill bit and the grid extra fine to go ahead and shape the tips of my nails. Um, that is the only way I really know how to get mine straight. I don't like using the hand file for that. I like to also go underneath the nails to define that shape and then lastly seal my cuticles. You guys can find this or this bit in my Amazon storefront and that is in the link in the description below also a lot of people do ask me the rpm in which i use to file the tips of my nails and i do anywhere from like 18 to 25 rpm depending the, but i don't really go any higher than 25 rpm to file or shape the tips of my nails straight um the faster you go like the easier or like the quicker you can get done with it and like the more like i feel like straight and crisp they come out um, and then for still my cuticles, I always use like 8 RPM, but you can go anywhere from like 8 to 10 RPM. Also, anyone interested in the drill that I use, you can find that as well in my Amazon storefront.
okay y'all this is how we're looking with the nails shaped filed and buffed now i'm gonna go ahead and dust them off clean them with some alcohol and then we're gonna move on into these or yeah the design Okay, y'all, so for the outlines of these nails, I'm going to be using a few different colors. One in being this one here from Valentino, which is Dare to Gel Pouch number 32. Nail House's Pepto. Nail House's um, Peachy. Nail House's Minion. The yellow one's Minion. I almost forgot. And then Pastel Purple in that order. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out on my palette and then um, begin these outlines. And y'all, don't... Um, don't mind me i need to stop using so much gel like i don't know why i feel like when i'm doing it like when i'm putting it on a palette it won't be enough i end up wasting a lot of gel most times putting way too much on the palette so i have to be mindful of how much that i'm um, actually using sometimes um but anyway so i don't have any particular method for doing these outline nails really I do recommend though always when you're doing any type of line work is to always have your pinky out resting against your hand for stability as well as if you're doing longer nails of course but I feel like these aren't so long but if you're doing like nails I feel like um you need to have a well I don't feel like I know or I feel personally um that having a super long hair brush like really helps because um you're not using a super tiny one where you're um like a longer one you can uh cover more of a surface area and you won't have to worry about using a smaller one and shaking all over the place before you even get um the line complete if that makes sense like just a super long hairbrush um really makes a bunch of a difference and i do highly recommend the ones from nail house they come individually as well as a set the one that i'm currently using is 25 mm i do recommend if you don't get the entire set to definitely get this one this is their longest haired one and um it just works wonders for me like for all type of line work as well as um my frenches highly recommend it 10 out of 10 these are my favorite liner brushes to date and um they actually just put them back in stock which i told you guys about a few days ago um some of y'all ran and went to go get them as y'all should because i have no idea well how long they'll be in stock because when they went out like y'all were like saying they're out of stock and i'm like i told y'all i told y'all i always try to tell y'all and warn y'all and keep on the lookout for y'all when nail house restock things because they're just so bomb like if you don't get it right then like the girls do not be playing okay about their nail house like seriously they really don't um they currently are in stock right now still i just want to go check for y'all to make sure so grab y'all some liner brushes and like i said if y'all can't get the whole entire sale which i do recommend um because you can get a discount with with um buying the entire set instead of individually as well as y'all can use my code as well portia to get um extra money off but i recommend getting the entire set but like i said if, if you can't i recommend this one for sure which is their 25 mm and then their 12 mm i use those two the most especially for my frenches so link to now house site in the description below i highly recommend getting those liner brushes before they sell out don't say i didn't warn y'all Anyway, so this is my method to these outline nails. I like to start with drawing the lines on the sides first. And I also like to draw mines like coming up. Like, because if you don't like draw them the way I'm drawing them, you won't barely see the color. And I like mines to really like show the color. And I like mines to also be like in a coffin kind of shape almost. Like it, it's, I don't know if I can explain it correctly, but you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, Yeah. Also, I did one coat for the most part on all of these but i believe i did go in with two coats on with that yellow because it's a little bit um a little less pigmented or like a lighter color if that makes sense so i did go in with, with a second coat for the yellow one but i believe i went in with one coat for the remaining ones
y'all i absolutely love this whole color combo with these five colors i think my favorite color would have been this one here the mint like blue kind of color or mint whatever color it is i love this color so much although that pink from i mean not from that pink right there is my favorite gel polish from nail house like i love that pink color which is uh pepto but this was my favorite color i think but between this one and the pink anyway this is how we're looking right now i'm gonna go in with pastel purple on the thumb that is the last one i'm gonna cure it go in with some matte top coat on all of them and then after that i'm gonna move into the bling so i just remember that someone asked me why i didn't apply like gel polish to the very tip of my nails um i don't know i just i just don't do that <laughs> do y'all do that let me know in the comment section below i don't apply tip to tip gel to the tip of the nail if that makes sense like at the bottom i just leave it the color that the base is but anyway this is how we are looking loving this color combo like i said and now i'm gonna go in with some matte top coat from dynamic nail supply if you have not tried their matte top coat or top coat in general they're shiny as well go ahead and try it i highly recommend it but gonna do that cure that for 60 seconds and then we're gonna move on to the bling These will be really cute, shiny as well, but y'all know I'm a matte girl, so these will be matte, but go ahead and take a good look of the shiny before we go ahead and cure um, for those shiny lovers. <laughs> I'm going to cure the thumb last because I always cure that last because I feel like it just cures better alone instead of with like all the rest of them. That makes sense. Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, this is how we are looking. I'm loving this, actually. I do love the way they look without anything else on them. I did actually go outside and take pictures with them, like, because uh, I took a break for a second and I went outside. So I just took a picture of how they look plain, which is really, really cute. Um, I'll enter that on the screen, but we're going to go ahead and apply bling now. So I'm just going to go ahead and collect a couple of charms. I'm going to be using just uh, one charm per nail for this look. I'm not going to be doing too much. Just a simple little one-two with like a few pieces of bling on each nail. Um, and of course, I'm going to be using my bling adhesive or Zule bling adhesive to do so. Yeah, and I'm going to let you guys watch. So first one down, very beautiful and just four more to go because I'm going to be doing the same exact pattern on each nail. I just like them all to be like the same, that makes sense. So that's what we're going to do. All right, y'all, this is how we are looking. So super cute. Love this bling pattern. I just love it. I love the colors. They're giving very much spring. I know it's going to hurt some of y'all girlies who like plain nails that I added bling, but those who love bling understand um, that it had to be something. And that's the look I was going for. So yeah, y'all, this is how we are looking. They're super pretty. And next, I'm going to insert my final results.
these came out super cute and i am loving these pastels y'all these are given very much spring and i'm here for it if you all enjoyed this video and i love these nails as much as i do go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up don't forget leave your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications to notify each and every single time i post a new video thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now